Kundalini Citrin Quartz from the Alwena uh, deposit in the Congo. Now, there's a few features which attracted me about this piece. And first of all, let's start with this extra little face. Not quite a diamond edge on that one. Lovely formation on this particular angle where you have this little starburst of crystals going down the side. Contact down this edge uh, on the side, but the determination is there. So this would all be a little fracture on that side. Color-wise, we're looking at a lovely light honey yellow, um, almost a champagne color on this one. When we look into the crystal, quite fascinating, those little internal fractures cause this rainbow effect. So as we move it around, maybe you can see the colors here, but the colors of the spectrum would break up. Uh, from this particular angle, I find this rather appealing because it's almost like there are lights inside the specimen. All the way from the Elwena deposit uh, in the Congo, Kundalini Citrine Quartz, and absolutely natural, of course. Now, a strange phenomenon, I'm going to put my finger behind that, and you'll see there's almost a, a darker and lighter colors in the, in the clarity of the specimen as well. Uh, let's zoom in again. There we go. There's darker shots of yellow lighter. And there's almost a grayishness to bluishness in some sections. On close inspection, you may even find some phantoms in the sky. But this, of course, is the appealing sea. Ah, there's almost a little V formation at the back there. So and with a little bit of attention to detail, there's so much more in the sky. All the way from the Elwena deposit in the Congo, Kundalini Citrine Quartz. Let's give you an accurate indication of the specimen. That's pretty accurate, maybe a little bit lighter than that. It looks a little bit dull in, in uh, the still pictures. It's actually quite a bright, vibrant, lustrous piece. Let's see, that's, that's pretty accurate. Maybe a little bit lighter. There we go. There's that little extra edge on that side.